Um, today we have a further 32 positive cases, bringing the total of confirmed cases here to 241. And sadly, three more people who have tested positive have died. And again, I want to offer my sympathy to the loved ones of those individuals. These truly are sad times, and they are tough times, and there are very many tough decisions ahead. And there's going to be very many dark days ahead for every one of us. So again today, I say to everyone, please take your own personal responsibility also. Please take responsibility for yourselves, for our communities, for our health service, and for our staff. Together, we can save lives. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we need to take responsibility for our own actions. Let me say this to employers today. Take responsibility for your workers. Today, we are still hearing reports about workers being exploited during this public health emergency. They're being given no option by their employers other than to go to work whenever it's not safe for them to do so. That has to stop. It must stop immediately. And shame on any employer that is exploiting their workforce at this moment in time. Non-essential businesses, close your doors. Stop using your workers in this way. Send them home and let them stay there. And if you don't, we will have to take action against you. We are in the time of a public health emergency, and now more than ever, now is the time for everybody to do the right thing. I understand that these are difficult times for businesses, but these measures are all about slowing the spread of the virus, reducing the impact on the health service and saving lives. There are financial packages in place to help businesses get to get through this. The Economy Minister confirmed today that the Payments for Small Business Support Grant Scheme will begin soon. And we're expecting an announcement from the British Government very shortly on the support for self-employed. And that support must be substantial and it must come forward urgently. Other steps taken by the Executive today the Infrastructure Minister has moved to provide free public transport for our healthcare workers during this emergency. Our health staff need every bit of support that we can give them to get them through this, so this is a welcome measure. I am also pleased to progress that progress has been made around the free school meals, and this action will benefit almost 97,000 children who are entitled to free school meals. That support will be provided by way of direct payments to those families. They will receive £2.70 per child per day for each of, the term and each of the term the schools are closed. This will help to ensure that low-income families and vulnerable children get the vital support that they need during this crisis. And this is a rapidly evolving situation and we are trying to adapt every day to provide information to everybody. So I encourage people to go onto the NI Direct website because I know that there are many, many unanswered questions. But these are tough times and we have big challenges ahead of us. And you've seen even today from some of the decisions which ministers have had to take particularly around preparing for a temporary rest in place for the deceased, particularly around limiting visiting times only for exceptional circumstances. These are not easy decisions. These will be very hard for people to comprehend, but these are necessary decisions in this difficult time that we are now in. I think that um, everybody should ask themselves this question. When you look back in this period in our history, did you do the right thing? And employers should really give themselves a shake if they're not doing the right thing. And I would use every bit of legal power available to me to shut people down who are doing the wrong thing. And the other thing I would say to anybody who um, works to get government contracts, I don't think anybody should look kindly on people who don't do the right thing in this period, and that includes what we do in government. Um, on the issue of PPE, it is a, a huge issue of concern. Right out, We hear it every day from the workforce. People out in the front line, domiciliary care workers, are feeling very vulnerable right now. This is a scary situation. For even for those people who've trained all their lives to do this job, this is a scary situation. So we have to do absolutely everything we can to give them that assurance, to make sure that they know that they're protected, to make sure that they're given the proper guidance, and that they know that, that we care about what they're doing every day. And I can say that we do. And we'll do everything we can to make sure that they get that PPE, they get everything that they, that they need. And the other issue they're asking for is testing. We need to do more testing. We need to ramp it up significantly. And that's where we need to get, because that's the assurance that, that the staff are asking us for. We need the healthcare staff at this moment in time, now more than we ever did before. In return, we are actually supporting them in the way in which they're asking us to support them.